guys, Triple B here. Really happy to be revisiting Blissey B. It was actually one of the first YouTube videos I did, and with the new set Silver Tempest coming out, the deck gets a lot of upgrades, and I'm really excited to be trying it out again. Blissey V, it's a pretty beefy Pokemon, and it's a basic. It's got 250 HP. Since it's a basic, you can attach Cape of Toughness, bringing it up to 300 HP, and there's a few other ways we can bump up that number. With the attack it has, Blissful Blast, it does 10 damage, and then 30 extra damage for each energy that's attached to this Pokemon. If you do any damage with this attack, you get to attach three energies from the discard pile to this Pokemon. You'll notice it says three energies, not basic energies, so we can be accelerating out special energies. Blissey being a normal type, we can be using some pretty quirky energies though. We've got powerful energy. As long as this is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy, which that's fine. Blissey's attack only needs colorless energy, and if it's attached to a colorless Pokemon, it actually does 20 more damage. So Blissey's gonna be doing 30 extra just from having the energy, and then an extra 20 from it being a powerful energy. If we get four of this onto it, that's 200 damage. It's doing off four energies. We're also gonna be running capture energy. It's a nice way to set up our bench because when you attach this from your hand to a Pokemon, you get to search your deck for a basic Pokemon. So you can be setting up some other things that are gonna be helping out the deck. And if we need some more Blisses, we can get into those as well. The other energy we've got is V-Guard energy. The Pokemon this is attached to takes 30 less damage from the attacks of your opponent's Pokemon V. So that Blissey that we we're talking about with 250, 300 with a Cape of Toughness, effectively 330 if it's got a V-Guard energy on it, and it's on a basic with uncapped damage potential. That's pretty nuts. We've also got Lucky Energy. If the Pokemon this is attached to is in your active spot and gets damaged by an attack, you get to draw a card, makes Blissey do more damage, and gets you some draw power. Why wouldn't we play it, right? The other one we've got is Double Turbo Energy. As long as this is attached to a Pokemon, it provides two colorless energies. Downside being, it does reduce the attack by 20 damage, so we're effectively only getting 40 damage from it. It's an extra 10 damage over running any other energy on it, so it's a definite inclusion for the deck. That's it for the energy, and then for the rest of the list, let's get into that. So for draw power, we've got a 2-2 line of Bibberol. We've got one copy of Dunsparce with Mysterious Nest. While this is in play, colorless Pokemon have no weakness, so we're not going to be caught off guard by fighting Pokemon coming out and just easily knocking down Blissey. We've also got one copy of Orangaroo. It's a good way to keep cards in the deck that we need, so if we get into things like rare candy that are difficult to come back, or special energies that outside of Blissey's attack can't really be recovered, it's a really good way to keep them in it, and I know you're saying Rare Candy, what have we got that for? Well, with Silver Tempest, we got Archeops. Has the ability Primal Turbo. Once during your turn, you can search your deck for up to two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. So Blissey can be accelerating energy from the discard with its attack, and Archeops can be accelerating energy from the deck, so it can be accelerating pretty crazy amounts of energy pretty fast. It's really handy and just a definite upgrade to Blissey. We've also got one copy of Crobat, just for some extra draw support. And then, since Blissey's got a lot of health, we want to be keeping it healed up. We've got four copies of Hyper Potion. To use this, you do need to discard two energy, but double turbo energy counts as two energy, and we're just getting it back when we use Blissey's attack. So, effectively, we can be healing for free using Hyper Potion for 120 damage. We've got four copies, so potentially 480 health being healed throughout the game. It's very handy to have in the deck. One copy of Palpad. For Pokemon Search, we've got four Quick Ball, four Ultra Ball, and then to set up the Archeops, we do need an Identified Fossil. When this is played, it counts as a basic Pokemon, but if you get it in your opening hand, you can't actually play it to start the game, so do be mindful of that. You need to start with one of your regular basic Pokemon, and then get this down later in the game. One of Blissey's toughest matchups is Duraludon V, which is going to be seeing quite a bit of play since Lugia is seeing a lot of play and is special energy reliant. To get around that, we're going to run Path to the Peak. Pokemon with a rule box in play have no abilities, and Duraludon's ability says if you you have special energy attached to you, you can't hurt it. So we need to turn that ability off or we just take a hard L to that. So we've got two copies of the Path to the Peak just to fix that up. For draw power, we've got four copies of Professor's Research and four copies of Serena. Serena lets you discard three cards from your hand and then draw until you have five cards in your hand, which is a good way to get those three energy in the discard and then re-accelerate them out with Blissey's attack. Or we can be using it as Gust, so you can switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon V with their active Pokemon. It's a really nice pivot card to have and really helps out this deck. We've also got two copies of Air Balloon. It's our only switching cards and then two copies of Cape Toughness. That's the deck list. I hope you like it. And if you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you like seeing crazy deck lists like this too, make sure to subscribe so you know when I've got more shenanigans coming out. But let's hop on ladder and see how we go with this tonight. Starting the big blitz. I like it. Powerful energy for turn, also good. 
Would be nice to have the unidentified fossil. There isn't really a way to search that out, unfortunately. What does this guy got? Rare fossils, wind energy, water energy. Dracovish? Is this gonna be like the Dracovish evolution denial one? If that's the case, that's fine. <laughs> oh no, it's a basic. I don't want that. <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely just the Draco mission. They had no answer. <laughs> okay. I'm liking the starting hand, like having the Oranguru, having the fossil. Path to the peak, I don't think really impacts them that much. We could theoretically Serena away the Serena and then Palpat it back into the deck. Or we just Serena away the path to the peak. No, yeah, I think we should get rid of these two. We don't we won't put path in play. Yeah, I don't think Regidrago has any abilities that we're really concerned about. And then it would turn off the ability of being able to use Crobat. We get both those Serenas back into the deck, just so we have lots of gust potential. Ultra Ball these two away. Get into Crobat, Crobat into basically a new hand, and we can theoretically get into a Bidoof to start setting that up as well. that down. Uh, we'll just attach one cape for now. Primate Wisdom is on top of the deck. Didn't find a Bidoof. So our draw engine's not really online. But that's okay. Hindsight, I should have Barangarid the cape on top, Ultra Balls, whatever we got away to get into a Bidoof, but I think we're all right here. They got all the arts here. Nice. Respect. Respect. Discard. 70 damage for each special energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Oh. Oh, that's concerning. Um, like, I'm thinking we give up the Crobat. Crobat or the Monkey? Ah, oh, not the Fossil. We can, yeah, we check the Crobat active. Although they're only doing 210 off that, we should have just put the other Blissey active, I guess. Oh, what attack did they go for? Why didn't you go for the... Apple Dragon? Primate Wisdom... Yeah, the Blissey on top. If we do that, that puts that other attack up to, what, 280? We've got the V-Guard though, so 250, this should be fine. And it lets us draw some cards. I was thinking we just hold for right now, because we want to be able to find a rare candy and get into that. I think holding the Ultra Ball for the time being as an out to is a better play. Because, like, they've got no hand to work with right now. 
What did that even do? During your turn, you can discard the top seven cards of your deck, then put two cards from the discard pile into your hand. That's kind of sick. Okay. So that's a way for them to get, like, Gardenia's back into hand. Yes, dragons in the discard. Interesting. I don't hate that. For some reason I had in my head Reggie Drago's V-Star was an attack. That's pretty cool. Okay, so he's guaranteeing the Gardenia. Oh, never mind, they don't have grass there. some monkey business. What a slap in the face. It's like, oh, yeah, no, you can't draw any cards with this. <laughs> Need at least one more card to draw some cards. That's a nice combo for this, for draw power, though. So this ditch those, gets them in the bin, Blissey smacks, accelerates them out. The fact that they can be using that apple ton though to be doing some big damage, a bit concerning, but I think we're alright. Because right now they have no way to really charge these up. Two Gardenias are in the discard. They'd likely run four though, right? You'd have to run four. Sweet. Uh, do discard the top three cards of your deck. Alright. Three. Um, we'll grab this just as potential Serena fodder. That comes active. He can't Gardenia to it anymore. Maybe they run right hand. amount of switch. You want Drago Visha? He looks pretty sick. I'm definitely liking seeing this deck. I'm gonna have to give it a go. Cause like the apple ton in it is pretty sweet. So, and there's also like the flapple that's extra damage for each ability. Alright and they just scoop. They've got no way to charge up another attacker and we just swing into it next turn. Those sleeves are sick. Do these come in like that Charizard box? 
might have to buy a code for it. Those look honestly like badass as hell. Oh, Union, if you're still hanging around, um, something did come to mind. I'm gonna be switching over to PTCG Live likely in the next week. So anything that I do have more than four of is just gonna get kind of destroyed on transfer. So we can have a look through the collection and anything that there's more than four of that you want, let me know. Like I don't think it'll be anything too crazy, but I know you like collecting. Okay, so we throw that on there. Chuck that down, it turns off the curum. Wish we had a Badoof instead of a Bibberal. That benching. All oh, right, that item I had to throw over there. It's quick ball away a Serena for. I'm gonna say for a Crobat, but we have Path down, so that's useless. Uh, probably for Doof. No energy for turn when a quarter of our deck is energy. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we're running 14 energy in this deck. That's nuts. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they don't have a way to bump path. Because right now, the Greninja's shut off. The Kyurem shut off. That Starmie is... A it's scary for this matchup. Doesn't have a lot of health though, so you should be able to take it down. Party wants to just gush out the star me. But Yeah, I think we just Serena away. Serena away the pal pad. Hope to get into a rare candy. Get these online. Or not. <laughs> on the ADP thing? My thoughts are that it's kind of scary. I just don't know enough um, Dragon Pokemon to be able to say like, oh yeah, that's outright busted. Because like, ADP is already just a force in expanded. Like, it can work with any deck. You don't need to use specifically Dragon Pokemon in it. So like, ADP with Muse Free is like potentially just its own thing. Like, you have access to every GX attack. Alright, I guess not the GX attack, because ADP's GX would be the one going off, but... It's definitely an idea. Like, I don't know if ADP Arceus is a thing or not, but I could see that being kind of cool. Maybe Necrozma? Okay. 170 and you're removing energy from them. That's pretty cool. Very confused why he's hitting me with the penguin. I'm not against it. 
So we are struggling to get the ball rolling right now. And he's letting us live. So we need a Blissey with powerful energy to knock this out. Because it seems like he's just going to swing with this again. Unless he's going to hard retreat. Like, to me that makes more sense. Norbert GX 50 that can't use items. 180 plus 50 if they already have damage counters on them. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we found the rare candy. If we put too much on though, this just comes up and kills it. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious and terrifying at the same time. Um, we've got a V guard on there already. I think we just attach one because we have three in the discard. We have two in the discard. That puts that up to doing 200. Okay, yeah, we may as well do both powerful energies then. One twenty, you can discard any amount for fifty extra. He's got uncapped damage. Yeah, he can just ditch all the energy and play and kill this bit, Blissey. Dang. All the Streamlabs timers just lining up. It's a sign. Is it? It's a sign to subscribe? A sign for you to build it, expand it. <laughs> is it? Is that what it is? And Blizzy goes down? Yeah, Blizzy's gonna go down. What am I doing here? 150, 180, 220, 250, 260. So if I go do this, that goes up to 300, 340 for the knockout. It's a bit painful, like, I wish we knew if we were going to draw into another set of this. Because I'd like to be able to use the Hyper Potion here. Although, like, Starmie just comes up and explodes this anyways. So, 
Ultra Ball, get into the dupe. Yeah, we do. Okay, we've got an Archeops in the deck, we've got a Rare Candy in the deck. There's potential to get the Acceleration onto this guy as well. As we kill this, we only need one more prize. Um, so we essentially just need a way to gust that up, which would be Serena. Oh, okay. Can we get a rare candy? Please? No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, so this is what, 120, 150, so 270, 300, 330, 340. We get the number. And this comes and just, just explodes us. He could use the Palkia. Using the Palkia seems like the wiser decision, but doing this is just hilarious. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get so blown up. <laughs> I think we have a way to get enough energy out to kill this, though. And without letting him get in range of killing us. If we have six... Oh no, if we have five energy in play this time, he can kill us. More of that guy. Attach that. Search the deck, see what we're working with. I think we just get that. Because then we accelerate three more energy onto this. It puts it up to that, it's doing 250, but because we have the V guard. It's doing 220. Uh, yeah, let's just ditch this in a little bit. Do have the two Serenas, so even if we just partial hit this, we can just get back into it. Let's ditch that. Chuck this on the top of the deck. Oh, I guess getting into a rare candy now is kind of whatever. Yeah, like we don't even need another Archie Ops. We've only got one energy left in the deck. So if we get that out, also a moot point. We research, we go down to two cards in the deck. So we're basically guaranteed a Serena, yeah. Sweet. Uh, sweet. Get three power. We're now doing 240 next turn. So if they have Melanie attach, Cure and VMAX. then it's their game to win here. Let's see. Looking like they do. Maybe not, they're digging. Okay. 
Okay. I think we're okay here. Yeah, like, they read it for turn, so no Melanie. Uh, Palkia can't do enough to kill it. Starmie would need a choice belt? Yeah, okay, sweet. Two hundred, two sixty, two seventy. Yeah, we got there. <laughs> I'm liking the bliss. I'm enjoying the bliss here. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up and um, maybe click that red button so you know when I've got more deck lists coming out. If you want another video though, there should be some popping up on the screen and until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya.